Let's 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 get started. We'll build a car. That doesn't seem like an awful idea. All right. How do you build a car? Well, we'll need a road to drive the car on. So we'll just make a road out of titanium and coal, like a normal person. God, you don't make a. Oh, that doesn't look awful. Yeah. All right. Very nice. There is our road surface. And we will put a layer of iron on top to stop the coal from catching on fire the first time I make a mistake. That is not correct. <laughs> it's good enough though, whatever. I don't want to spend forever on one wheel. Alright, we'll put the other wheel over here. Oh, fantastic! This gives us plenty of space. Okay, now we gotta actually start, like, designing the car. So we don't want to make it, like, too thick. Because we want... Okay, that is an awful wheel well. If I'm gonna make it, like, squarish, at least don't waste that much space. Alright, fantastic. I'll make it like a Jeep, alright? It's okay if it's a little bit blocky. Cybertruck? Cybertruck. Alright. Gonna try my best to make this look not awful. But I, I cannot promise anything. I'm not artistic in the slightest. Alright, there we go. Nice! That That's not the worst. Alright. I go like this. This. That's where the engine boy goes. And then the windshield will be there, so let's get some, like, glass. Okay, this... This isn't the worst. I mean, it's not the best, but it could certainly be worse. Then we'll have the wheel. You know what? We don't need to see the wheel. That, that's good enough. That's good enough, Timber. It's good and people are saying it's trash. That's my life right there, alright? That's my life. It's fantastic. Look at that. That is, that is the greatest... Greatest. He's a little bit high up there, but he's really enjoying himself, all right? So we could actually fit the engine into the back of the car, which would offer us... You know what? This is a car of the future. Cut this off and we'll actually use the back for stuff. We'll give him trunk space, though. We'll keep the we'll keep the trunk for whatever he wants. What What is he keeping in the trunk? Uh, what do people... Put in their trunk. <laughs> uh, ah, yes. His massive wealth of gold bars. Mmm. God, nothing I like more than my gold bars in my trunk. <laughs> you need to move the car. Bodies! <laughs> no! That's awful. Okay, cool. Very cool. We've got our box now that the engine's gonna go in. Uh, we're gonna build the fuel tank. The fuel tank will be pretty damn simple. We'll just cut this off like this. Here we go, here's our fuel tank. Just to prevent any fuel tank explosions from taking out the car, we're gonna coat this in ceramic as well. Running theme is going to be that we want the car to survive unintended things okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that we can pull gas into the engine uh how we're going to do this is we're just going to put a hole here we'll put our ceramic liner on there and then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to grab the pipe element which I learned to use in the last video. We're gonna go like this. Great. And then the pipe element is easy. We do the output first. So now that we have put the output, all we need to do is open up the sides like this. And now it will pull 
into here. So let's go ahead and make a little chamber for the gasoline to get pulled into. Just for testing. And let's go ahead and fill her up with... I guess we'll just do oil. Look at that! The oil is pulled up, and it's not pulled up far enough. <laughs> hmm, this is a mistake I have made in the past. No worries. And that'll be the sparker. And for now, we'll just throw a battery on it. Where's our battery? Okay, nope. That did not do what I wanted it to do. It can jump across one. I should have remembered that. But I don't think it can jump across one if I put ceramic down. No, it can. Really? Wow. All right. Slight modification to the vehicle, then. We're going to have to make this layer of ceramic a little bit thicker here. That's all right. We'll go ahead and make it real thick. We're going to turn this into Tycho. There we go. Oh, I accidentally set it on fire in here. Let's just get rid of that fire. Ah! Oh, it destroyed all my insulation. Damn. And it looks like it damaged my pipe here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and throw titanium around the pipe. That should, that should do better. Great. Um, let's go ahead and grab insulation again. Man, we really didn't want that to happen. Alright. And there's smoke stuck here. Okay, that's better. Let's fill it up like it's supposed to. And then over here as the sparker, let's pray that this does better. Yes! Alright, so the sparker hits here. And then we're going to let the oil go into there, and it should just burn. What are we going to do about exhaust? I think I actually have a better idea for exhaust. We're just going to let the exhaust mount the top here. We'll have it go at the top of the car like a truck. This isn't really a normal car anyways. I don't know, we may just have to use, like, fire. Why isn't the oil burning at, like, a normal t t temperature? <laughs> Uh, it breaks everything as well, that's the worst part. Okay, uh, we need to, like, create a safer thing here, because this breaks every time the oil gets sparked. So, let's go ahead and to make this pipe a little bit longer. Man, I don't like being boring. Oh, that is fire. That is not what I want to build with. I don't like boring you guys, but we are having some issues. Alright, um, use diesel in place of oil. We- we can try that. Diesel. Diesel. Explodes under high pressure and temperatures. Yeah, but I don't really have a- oh, pressure- <gasps> Pressure! We have this, which is causing the pressure to get super low. Is that why? Okay, one second. I'm curious if that's the reason. Is it not catching on fire because it's low pressure? That may be why it's not doing a boom. Let's put it in a high pressure environment. So if that's going out, it should make... Yes! Look at how clean that fire is! And we actually do have the exhaust coming out the top, like we want it to. So, now with the oxygen getting pumped in, we're actually reaching pretty good... ...results. 
What's the temperature here? 136. Fantastic. So now we, oh, we need to put more gas in. We're running out of oil. Quickly. Fill her up. All right. Although now it's all ice, so this tells us that this is a little bit too cold. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna block this so that it can't spawn quite as much ice. There we go. That should do it. All right. There we go. It's going in a circle. Goes up, through, cold, down. Up, through, cold, down. Beautiful cycle. And then we just need to do one thing. What is that thing we need to get our electric working? So let's go ahead and grab... Fusion reactor in the car, yes, of course. Of course. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw a little bit more oil in, since we are burning a lot of oil. <laughs> it's really a gas guzzler, this one. Alright. So, since we've done this, let's go ahead and finish her off. All we have to do is add our generator. So we're going to throw our detector right here. We're going to throw a conductor right here. And then we will throw our titanium right here, which will pull the electric out that we create. And then what we're going to do is we're going to send that where we need it to go using Wi-Fi. If I can remember how to do this properly, I have to do Wi-Fi here. I have to do Wi-Fi here. Then I have to use PSCN to pull it like that. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Self-running car. Yeah, the more destructive bombs just go through it. Oh, the wheel is actually strong enough to block it. The windshield can actually take a bit of a hit. But once it hits that, uh... Right there, it's just, it's pretty much game over. We could probably armor it a bit. Figure out what the love element, what? Aww. Aww, that's so nice. What if I set love on fire? Nothing. Hmm. What if I put acid on love? <laughs> Wow, that's so wholesome. Wow. Love survives everything. <laughs> you heard it here, kids. <laughs> you heard it here. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't know if there's any more real ways I can play with this. I have, uh, accomplished all the things. Now, what if you drive over a nuclear bomb mine? Well, it looks like you are very, very, very much going to be losing your life. Um, driving over a nuclear bomb will cause issues. However, can we protect this car? To the point where it can survive most attacks. Let's make a shielded version. We'll give it a nice quartz shielding. A nice thick quartz shielding. And then we'll actually add some additional shielding to it. Quartz is very good for surviving things like explosives and heat attacks. Um, what are we going to do for the window? He needs to be able to see. I guess we have to leave the window kind of open. We'll just make it thicker glass. Thicker glass edition. 
All right, and then we'll do two other things. I know how to make something pretty damn strong. Um, but a layer... Let's say someone drops an exotic matter bomb behind you while you're on the interstate. All right? This is something that happens, so we need to test for it. All right, so exotic matter bomb on the interstate. You're just chilling, and then you hear it on the radio, and they're like, there's an exotic matter bomb! And you're like, oh, shoot! Wow, it's like all going in the opposite direction. Let's, let's, there we go. No. No, it doesn't seem to be that bad, actually. Let's see if we just add a little bit more energy to it. I get a little bit more excited. There we go. That's a better explosion. Even then, that held up pretty... I mean, the gold in the car did melt. But the, uh... The guy himself, he's looking pretty good, even if he's at boiling temperature. Hmm, hmm. Alright. What if the car gets hit by lightning? Good, good question. No, even a lot. Oh, shoot. That does a lot of damage. But the car can get hit by lightning several times over and not die. It'll, uh, not look the best, but it's not, it's not an impossible situation. What if a terrorist organization puts a massive globe of dynamite around your vehicle, forcing you to just sit there and wait? Easily survivable. Your, your windshield's a little bit damaged and the road is on fire, slowly baking you alive. It hasn't been breached quite yet. Although, Molten Metal is falling onto his face, which is a little bit painful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if someone puts an alien life form inside of the vehicle? What if you put an alien life form into the... the cargo? Oh, seems pretty safe. Hmm. What about... Stain... Oh! Oh, oh god, that one is angry. It kind of stops growing, though. 34. Ooh! Ooh, that one spun up a fight. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, it's... You know, you should get out of the car. The alien in in the luggage. The alien in the luggage is not happy. <laughs> Please exit the vehicle. <laughs> go, man, go. It's not safe for you. Get out of the car, man. Get out of the car. Oh, he's he's doomed. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's angry. The alien is not happy. It seems to be having a little bit of trouble getting into the front compartment, though. But it has... Oh god, it's going around. It's going around. It's gonna breach. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. I mean, he survived for a little bit. I mean, his head is still mostly there. Oh, I ate his head. That's awful. Someone said to use a maze. It's just a maze. How dangerous could... Oh. Hm. It stops growing, though. That's the thing. It's not as aggressive. What is the most aggressive thing? Seed? Oh, 
Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, that leaking out is really quite bad. That one is really aggressive. And going to give me a seizure. <laughs> what if you drove over seed? The car's fighting back. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh no! Come on, car! Can you kill it? If I, like, if I tried to cover it in thermite to kill it, could I? Ah, uh, no! Kill it! Kill it with fire! Did I kill it? Did I save the world? Yes! We stopped it! Alright. With that, I'm gonna say thank you all for watching me build this beautiful vehicle. I'll see you all next time. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And this will be turned into video format eventually, in which you will be able to watch it as a video. How exciting! Publish the car. I need to make an account. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Peace out.